This is going to be a two in one type of video. I'm going to talk about two different things. The first thing I'm going to talk about is that the global impact of the Wuhan has now surpassed one million people, whether they got infected with it or if they died from it. Uh, last time I checked, it was 1.2 million, I believe it was. And a couple of days ago, I actually had said, I bet you by next week, it's going to surpass a million. This thing, if good thing I'm not a betting man because I would have lost because it actually surpassed it the very next day after I said that. When, and the crazy part about it is when I said it, it was at 905,000 people plus affected and it jumped right to a million like almost overnight. So it's definitely making its rounds and it's scary. You know, it feels like it's one big depopulation type of thing. I'm not going to go into all of that to that, you know, that deep into the rabbit hole. I just wanted to put that part out there. Now, the second part that I'm going to mention is what you see on your screen is these masks. I was watching the news today and they said that in some states, that they are going to make it mandatory that if you go outside for any reason, no matter what, if you're going to the store, walking your dog or anything like that, that you have to wear these protective masks in that if you don't, they will find you. I heard it for myself on the news. I'm not sure exactly what state it was that said it, but I know I heard that with my own ears and I will not be surprised if it starts to spread to other places as well outside of that place that I did hear it from. I mean, you have people all right now already wearing them and that's crazy enough as it is. But the scary part about it is a lot of those masks are supposed to be supplied for those who work in the medical field, like the nurses and the doctors, the surgeons, you know, the people that work in the hospitals that's treating these patients. And if people go out there and get them, they won't have enough. And if they have them, then the other people won't have enough. Then people have to recycle those masks and continue to use them over and over again and reusing the same mask for days on end is very unsanitary. So it's like, do you wear the mask unsanitary, uh, be unsanitary and wear the same mask over and over again? Or do you just risk going outside? And if you catch a fine, you just catch a fine. But it's gotten to that point right now. It's like I said, it's escalating more and more and more. Like I did in, you know, like as I keep explaining to people, this is this is about to be in some ways a new normal. Because, like I said, I don't think this thing is going to just go away and just like kind of fade into obscurity. I know it's not going to do that because there's been some statements that put out there that says this thing is probably going to return in the fall when it gets cold again. It's probably going to die down a little bit through the summer months because it's hot and it probably can't withstand that summer heat. But when it starts to get cold again, it's going to make it a vicious return. But I just wanted to bring this to y'all right here. I just want to let you ask you, did you hear about that? The part about the mask or was I the only one that heard about it? Because I don't think I was. I know I couldn't have been the only one that heard about it. But just in case, you know, I, know, I just thought I would ask. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Have your notifications turned on. And I'll talk to you in the next one. One thing I forgot to mention is the reason as to why they have implemented this little mandatory part about the mask is because now they're saying that this virus can be contracted from talking and breathing. So basically doing two basic things that people have been known to do who are capable of doing it now can spread this virus. But that's the reason why they're talking about making the mask be mandatory.